Welcome uh, everybody. I am Nataraj Upadhyay. I am recording this session and I will load it uh, onto YouTube and uh, Instagram later. Uh, this session will go minimum for one hour. It can go up to maximum two hours if there is a lot of interest, questions and discussions. We will see how it goes. Uh, I prepared the uh, PowerPoint in the last 30 minutes. The meeting agenda is uh, context and background and quickly go through meeting objectives, understand the high performance portfolio basic concepts, then what is the pilot effort from my side now. I, after starting, created a basic framework, we will review that. Using that framework, we will do a sample and we will discuss the variation of our judgment factors here. That will give us more grip on this framework. Then we'll uh, look at to portfolio management considerations. Then pilot phase learning objectives. What benefits we are anticipating. How you guys can help me and uh, we can benefit together going forward. And therefore, what kind of synergy we can seek. Question and answer is not just question and answer. It could be your feedback, your suggestions, your ideas and insights in this uh, context. So this is how it's going to go. If you have any clarification question, you can stop me in, in between. For that, you have to unmute. So let me give you a background as to what happened before I have come this far. I started my journey uh, in the stock market on a, a focused mode only from July 2003. This is primarily, I didn't have money until then. So since I sold my house, I got some money to keep aside for the market engagements. So I started uh, with around two lakhs. So up to March 2024, market was very easy. Even an idiot like me could make money. I just chased uh, momentum and uh, made 100% return for that uh, year until March. My portfolio grew from two lakhs to 20 lakhs. So with an average of 10, uh, you know, 10 to 10 lakhs, you could say, for the entire year uh, or less than a year because it is July to March. So it is a huge success for me. However, the market conditions significantly changed from April onwards. So I was leveraging using uh, futures. So I got stuck with futures to the tune of 4 lakhs loss I had to right off because market was correcting further beyond April, which we saw. And I had to write off one lakh worth of loss in the cash segment also because I needed margins and uh, minimize further losses. So I started the new year with five lakhs losses. So the news is I'm still on a negative return for the financial year, which is fine because I have confidence that I will overcome. But definitely this year returns will be very subdued which is not an issue because you always have a roller coaster ride. You learn something, then it will stop working. You have to learn new thing. So this initiative is now learning the new thing, which is a, a significant step for me. So today my equity portfolio is around 30 lakhs and I have already made plans to take it to 75 lakhs in the next two months. And at least 50% of that is going to go to this high performance bets. So uh, we are talking about at least uh, 35 to 40 lakhs. Therefore, let's say that my average investment will come to say 30 lakhs because I'm starting only in September for this financial year. I am putting a, an artificial ridiculous 200%. So I know it is not achievable. So 200% for let's say half the year uh, is let's say 100% of 30 lakhs means I should make another 30 lakhs in the remaining months of this year. That is the commitment, that is the rigor I am bringing to the table. But uh, let us see what happens. So right now my focus is to achieve high performance through swing trading and positional trading. There needs to be some clarity that needs to come in in the coming days as to when do you go for swing trading and when you do go for positional trading. And I'm a rookie, so I will make mistakes. 
Hence, a pilot effort is needed uh, to consolidate my discipline focus and uh, a framework kind of a rigor and uh, uh, practices. So, pilot focus is to freeze the initial portfolio, which is already built in in the last uh, weeks and look at its performance after two months. So the freeze is only the portfolio look as it is today. But actually, I will be managing the portfolio dynamically. Only for post part time, I will come to this particular snapshot and evaluate after two months. I hope that is clear. So from next week onwards, you will see my dynamic portfolio, not my original portfolio. This meeting objectives so, to understand the baseline approach to the high performance portfolio, how it is going to be built and fund managed. So, for some of you, I will cover basic concepts to the extent I know in this context. Then, how do we select high performance script? script? Right now, it has been very intuitive and uh, opportunistic. There is no specific uh, approach and this is probably i will seek your uh, inputs as to how do i streamline this particular selection process further then i will consider one sample high performance script review and we can discuss our uh, variation of uh, uh, ratings there then portfolio management considerations going forward then how to improve this framework further so that is the objective of this meeting so now let us come into this portfolio, high performance portfolio. Idea is to leverage swing trading and positional trading. There may be other techniques. We will definitely discuss that and I will improve this approach by including them. Please come back to me later at the meeting. So everybody knows swing trading is buying and selling stocks relatively quickly, usually within a few weeks or months. So instead of focusing on long term growth, it's about finding short term trends that can bring fast profit. So what happens is cumulative annual annualized gain of fast short term profits will become very impressive. For example, if you hold a stock for one week and in that one week, if you made 5% gain, a year consists of 52 weeks. So that 5% weekly gain is equivalent to 52 into 5. So you are talking about... Uh, 260% annualized gain. Remember, all your portfolio elements will not be achieving that. One particular portfolio element achieved that. So idea is to increase such performances, uh, spreading to majority of your portfolio, so that eventually you can hit 200%. On day one, we will not hit. However, the benchmark I would set for anybody, including me, is that I have worked in the mutual fund uh, performance very rigorous, rigorously in the last six months. I started in January like a total idiot. Today, I'm a very uh, you know good idiot about it. In other words, I have understood uh, the mutual fund trends on a weekly basis. And I have found that for the current market conditions, Indian equity mutual funds guarantee 40% returns on average. See, this is a significant statement. There are 900 equity mutual funds and the average of 900 equity mutual funds annual return for the last one year as on today is 41%. Let's uh, round it to 40%. So I am saying that mutual fund investment is considered passive. This 40% can be achieved by us because the weekly report I put helps uh, anyone to achieve that 40% because it has a technique of following the leaders for buy decisions and hold and sell decisions are anyway easy. So it is possible. So if you have an app for portfolio for uh, mutual funds, typically it gives you a factor called XIRR. It is a good uh, measure. This XIRR of your mutual fund portfolio should be 40%. And above, if you are using only equity funds, if you are doing hybrid funds and other funds, it can be less than that. So this 40% is easily achievable. So I can talk about it very confidently. So 
my statement is that if you are putting your own effort and you are putting in uh, becoming active in the market you should achieve double that that means i am saying 80% is the minimum we should achieve in our equity portfolio when we are playing with stocks now uh, in order to achieve that 80% respectable return i am saying let us aim high 200% so that even when we fail we cross 80% that is the psychology here positional trading is slightly different from swing trading because we hold the positions in a extended period which can be again weeks to months depending on the behavior of the stock basically uh, in positional trading there could be many breakouts and many swing trading opportunities so it is a matter of convenience your our discipline and uh, how much time we give decides should we isolate the specific swings or the breakouts and exploit them or we simply get into a positional trade and uh, ignore the inefficiencies between the uh, consecutive breakouts so that is the difference i would say practically so sometimes you know it is difficult to sense a swing trade breakout in which case you may go for positional trade and uh, take some inefficiencies and do well because you don't want to miss an opportunity on a very promising script so this i have put a, a quick and dirty picture there are better pictures to explain but i didn't have time to search see basically this is why a movement of a script let us say you can sense a one breakout here the second breakout here and third breakout here now this can happen in a matter of weeks months or years so that depends so if you go for swing trading you will find ways to catch these three opportunities learn how to start how to get into a breakout before or while it breaks out and how to get out of the breakout because between the breakouts there can be a consolidation period okay these are all consolidation periods this is consolidation this is consolidation this is consolidation at the end what you see is a significant correction which is also called distribution we don't want to stay there especially since i am used to trading mentality i don't like to waste my money time and energy into distribution phase i would rather lose some gains and opportunity than than becoming a victim of a distribution phase because the money that becomes free by selling always there is another opportunity to catch so one should not worry about missed opportunity because market has 6000 uh, stocks between nsc and bsc so let's say we can focus only on 10% of them which is still 600 which is huge so practically we cannot look more than 100 stocks kind of you know having a pulse of a stock up to 100 we can go lot of people said we can't do even more than 20 you know having a pulse and having a grip on the fingertips so we don't have money to do justice to even those 20 because let us say that there is one stock that is doing well we should reinvest some more money and leverage that so i am a rookie so i have not come to that level of sophistication so there is so next one is the you combine all three swing trade period you can have it as one positional trade which will have some inefficiencies in between before the uh, new breakout and you may enter into this uh, positional trade in the initial consolidation period because you don't want to wait when it will break out but you say feel that it is about to break out but you don't know so you would uh, take a chance and enter couple of weeks or days early so this is a concept everybody is clear i hope so now i have taken a pilot effort see the my pilot effort is kind of head first not head first got it no feet first so i have th started thinking with rigor after getting into this why i hurried into this pilot effort is we are entering into a festival season what happens in india festival season is lot of uh, factory workers are given bonus right 
so there is lot of liquidity so lot of middle class people want to spend some money to buy stocks in the market then business people you know uh, do have an investment agenda uh, for the diwali right then because of the festival season there is lot of investment on capital goods you know it could be a phone it could be a fridge ac those kind of things so there is a perk up on the consumer goods which we already see if you see seen uh, my last two mutual fund reports the last week i did a special report on equity we found that consumer uh, funds are uh, number 1 in the ranking and this week uh, top 50 is uh, inundated with so many consumer funds so there is a predictability uh, of the trend here in the festival season so let us exploit that so liquidity improves the demand improves the stock prices improve see what happens is when the stock prices go up there are many other uh, secondary effects happen which is the valuations go up and the companies want to exploit this extra liquidity in the market so they come up with uh, uh, you know taking your money into their side through ipos they will do uh, qips you know they will do some other uh, uh, you know high level uh, arrangements so basically companies kitty will go up therefore their valuation also goes up and their uh, unlocking value potential goes up so we should do an idiot also should do well in these two months so it is like jumping on the ground versus jumping on a trampoline even an idiot can be very impressive on a trampoline and being the rookie and the initial idiot i hope to do very well in these two months in the meantime learn all the concepts develop a heuristic framework to keep it simple which incorporates both art and science and the practice rigor consolidating discipline and practice we there will be an opportunity to continuously improve improve our returns as well as uh, our ability to exploit so i will not wait for the pilot phase i will be dynamically improving my portfolio and i will be dynamically changing my rigor and approach so the pilot happens just a snapshot i said so there will be a lot of mistakes made to be made but there will be learning and hopefully no repetition of the mistakes now i am coming directly to the portfolio i built in a matter of one week see 16 september to 19 september this all happened in the last one week and i was not available on the last day of the so this happened within four days so because there was a, a commitment to the cause and i did it intuitively i didn't even use the initial framework i have developed i am going to discuss this framework i have uh, hidden all the personal fields like uh, how many shares what is the initial total you know investment amount all that those fields are important for this calculation but these cal calculations are very straight forward so i will go through couple of lines the first one i invested was bsc so bsc 16 september entry price was 3126 and as on friday 20th september market to market price was 31984 which actually gave 27% return in 4 days it was just my luck let's say annualized it comes to 206% because it was just happened in 5 days so when i analyze that it became 206% so initially i did select these intuitively i'll just go through these names bsc zomato geo finance cdsl kenra bank lloyds engineering shriram krishnan optimus infracom torrent power hero motor company titan N nmdc irida hjvn angel one maharashtra scooter ntpc tcs reliance and rc limited later i improved my uh, rigor by coming up with a framework and i am going to discuss this framework okay so based on this framework now when i look back and give values overall multiplier values if you notice wherever it is less than 1 uh, 
it's a concern i have shown it in red so i might potentially fail on these script selections which are in red okay so that is something in the next two weeks i may take corrective actions and actually end up selling them and replace them with a better stock that is point number one the second point is let's say bsc has done so well in five days it gave 27 percent return maybe there is further life cycle of this announcement so i may need to invest more into bsc because anyway i have aligned funds this entire initial investment came to around 12.5 lakhs out of this 20 i have now sideline uh, create you know removed 30 lakhs from my fd because i am very bullish about the market out of the 20 lakhs more will come here so maybe i have to buy let's say another lot of bsc if that happens that lot will come as a separate line item in the bottom got it now so i will not mix because tracking of performance becomes easy now i will discuss this selection framework in detail so that is this screen so basically what i am saying is a stock should have high performance multiplier and right now i have done this heuristically basically an intuitive judgment based on your grip on the stock so if your judgment is wrong your uh, calculation will be wronger wrong there is no point going very complicated using mathematics and all that if you know the stock very well you, if you have understood its uh, uh, stock report if you have done the fundamental analysis in terms of profit returns cash flow you know growth rate its valuation p ratio peg ratio you know what kind of risks are there all that if you have understood it's easier for you to come up with a judgment factor on these parameters which is business growth potential how much business growth potential is ahead in terms of revenue growth profit growth and margin growth primarily so valuation expansion potential can be slightly different from business growth potential for example uh, something like uh, amazon was making losses for many years but its revenue was growing very high speed so it got higher valuation in spite of losses similar such companies are there in india also right so you want to understand cash flow expenses funds liquidity policy sentiments you know all that comes into picture here eh? uh, of course the uh, profit growth also comes in uh, comes here which i have not written there so that you need to have a sense of it value unlock potential is different from value expansion potential see business growth and value expansions are very linear whereas un value unlock is very non linear this happens because of ipos because of demergers acquisitions and mergers example kendra bank he has planned two ipos one ipo comes uh, in first quarter of uh, uh, sorry last quarter of 2025 that is between january to april and i think it is about the life uh, insurance business going into ipo second ipo is coming in first quarter of 2025 which is about its mutual fund business going into ipo now the valuations those two get at that time will add to the kitty of kendra bank value so kendra bank unlocks its values through two such ipos now market has a tendency to give future considerations into the current stock value which can happen as early as six months or it could be sometimes just two weeks before so we cannot time it out so i have chosen kendra bank maybe i might have chosen it too early i might drop it and pick it up later we will have to see that so d merger example is uh, uh, vedanta for example the when you break it up and uh, make many companies the sum becomes more than the current valuation acquisitions right because of acquisitions you get scale and you get better valuation you know because the subsidiary you have acquired has better uh, uh, p ratio merger so because you merge with a better entity your valuation can go up 
which is in a value unlock potential. Typically, these are initially coming as rumors, then confirmed news, then a confirmed action beginning. So there is a life cycle here also. We should leverage that. Fourth point is enterprise management integrity potential. This is more of a hygiene factor. See, what happens is when a, a company grows very fast, if the management is not good, they will start making mistakes and they will just burn the money and uh, uh, you don't get the uh, leverage you are hoping. One example I would say is Paytm. Paytm got so high a valuation in their IPO, but immediately after IPO, there was a 30% correction. So people who got allotted in the IPO lost money. And since then, management uh, maturity was not good. It got into a lot of uh, regulatory trouble and it has been stripped, if, you know, the company has been stripped and its uh, business focus is now reduced. So that is a good example of not considering management maturity into your selection criteria. Last one is business and market risk management potential. This is again a hygiene factor. See, there are always certain risks we can foresee, whether it is related to business or it could be market related. See, market related risk is typically liquidity based issue, policy based issue or a global economy based issue, you know, or a war breaking out, all that can be considered. Business issue is uh, more into business cycle, you know, policy issue. So two combining, typically, if there is no risk, I would say the value should be one. But if we sense a risk, we should reduce this value. So the overall uh, multiplier will be reduced. Now, this is the value system I have come up with. Value system of each variable can be 0.5 to 2. So stages 0.5 is way below average. 0.75 is below average, 1 is average, 1.25 is good, 1.5 is very good, 1.75 is exemplary, and 2 is exceptional. You know, it's very rare to happen. So overall multiplier is multiplying all these values, and uh, it is heuristic. So I would say minimum it should be four, 2, 4 is desirable, above 4 is a, a great thing to happen. So I want to illustrate this with a new example. Of course, we can go back to the table and the values I have given, but let's go to this new example because I have not done too much research here. So you may correct me if you feel my values are wrong here. Karnataka Bank, its business growth potential, I have given above average 1.25, valuation expansion potential above average 1.25, value unlock potential 1.25 above average, so enterprise management integrity, I have been watching this Karnataka bank for uh, last three, four years. I have been very impressed for a, a mid-sized company or a, a mid-cap stock. The integrity of the management is very impressive. So I will give 1.5 here. So if you bet on them, very rarely you will fail here. And market risk management potential uh, two weeks back, I would have given 0.75 because banking stocks had some liquidity issues. But with the festival season coming, I am giving one. So overall multiplier is multiplying all these values. It comes to 2.93. So above two is very impressive. So if you guys agree with my values here, Monday, I am going to buy this Karnataka bank and adding into my uh, portfolio. Now just to see BSC, which has done well, if I look at, in hindsight, business growth, I gave 1.5. Okay, because why 1.5? Everybody's money is coming into stock market. So people are, you know, buying BSC stocks. The transactions are increasing in the exchange. So it is easy. The speed at it which is going, you can say it is 1.5, which is basically very good. 1.5 for valuation expansion, that is automatic. Value unlock potential 1.5 because NAC is coming to IPO and BSC has some stake in NAC. So it will leverage that. Enterprise management, if you are not good in managing your exchange, you are in trouble because 
you can't it is a very you know uh, you know mission critical system so the management is always on the toes so i have given them good business and market risk management it is normal so when i multiply all this 4.22 so it was easy to capture this before it broke out you know now let us see other things which are higher than 2 zomato 3.38 it has not broke out yet geo finance i am expecting it to break out through the uh, festival season because the finances aspect they have to you know capture the market so i am expecting them to do lot of things with respect to capital goods finance uh, insurance part and lot of things 2.81 cdsl again it's market related no yeah someone said something Okay, then 3.52 is uh, torrent power, which has uh, somewhat uh, some breakout is there, 121% already there. 2.34 IREDA. Why I am going for IREDA is, IREDA is collecting another 3000 crores money. See, IREDA already has a scaling model. If it has money, it knows how to make money out of it. Because it's a government agency giving, you know, uh, uh, finance to other uh, hot area which is the renewable energy sector see ireda has been a phenomenal success it uh, ipo allotment was 32 its uh, listing was around 60 today today ireda is 232 this has happened in the matter of some 6 to 8 months so it has some more fuel left right so now the one in the red i will discuss which because i did not use this uh, framework my judgment may be wrong first one is lights engineering see lights engineering i am expecting it to grow because of the auto industry again may be a wrong decision a judgment factor because it has corrected by eight percent in after i invested so i will keep it for two more weeks you know uh, i was impressed with the growth so far but there may be headwinds here. Next one is Shriram Piston. Again, phenomenal growth so far. Maybe it is slowing down now. So maybe a mistake from my part. Hero Motor Company, it has it's a leverage of good monsoon, rural economy expansion, and electric uh, two-wheelers expansion. Let us see. So next one is uh, Titan. Is it Titan? Sorry, no, NMDC. I think Titan is easy to succeed in uh, ahead in the next two months. NMDC has some operational inefficiencies, but it has a very low peg ratio, 0.32. There is so many, so much, you know, money unlocked or value unlocked. So if the metal sector perks up ahead, NMDC can return. That's why I took, but right now it's not doing well. 1.76 is Angel 1 again linked to stock market uh, frenzy uh, it may take some time and last one is reliance i have included reliance because i feel there is so much of uh, hand in glow between reliance and geo and reliance is sitting on a unlocked value of future three ipos one is reliance retail one is reliance uh, uh, geo platform for telecom and third one is the uh, green business so there may be if the markets flare up reliance will find a way to speed up these ipos and markets makes it gets a sense of it and markets have a way of giving valuation six months ahead so i am including reliance into this bet but if it doesn't happen i might uh, underperform here okay rec is easy decision tcs also is a bet which may fizzle out let's see so so with this, I, I hope I have given you the simplicity of this heuristic framework, which is judgment based. And if judgment is good, only if you do the homework, which is we have to read read the you know fundamentals, understand the fundamentals, and even listen to the gray point, combine all that into a judgment factor. I hope that is clear. So with this, now how do we manage the portfolio? So. We, the we need to track change in these multiplier values and consider that and 
so i will be changing with the uh, change remarks in the remarks that you know some value has reduced or increased then i should have threshold criteria for buy hold and sell like now i feel that don't buy anything below 2 and hold it up you know up to 1.5 down maybe and uh, sell below that got it no so something like that i have to do then i should do a post mortem of every decisions made the buy decisions hold decision and sell decisions and where it went wrong and why and incorporate that into a learning so that is the work ahead i have created a some kind of a performance measure see this 200 percent return annualized is ridiculous still i have kept it to aim high if we achieve that you know about 200 percent it is s grade performance 180 to 200 percent is a grade 150 to 179 percent b grade 125 to 149 percent c grade 100 to 124 percent d grade 80 to 99 percent e grade still pass below 80 percent is a fail grade because you should achieve at least double the mutual fund return standard which should be easy so my actual return i am hoping will be in between 80 percent to 200 percent and i am not claiming or promising that i will hit 200 percent so please but i am aiming high so that when i fail also i do well so now pilot phase learning objectives so keep improve the framework of decisioning here and improve the buy hold and sell decisioning discipline improve portfolio management and optimization how much money you know include and if there is a one particular stock uh, doing well will you keep reinvesting with new lots and okay then uh, where do you go for swing trade versus positional trade and should i bring in hedging if there is f and o available for that for example tcs i have bought should, can i enhance the returns by doing some f and o which is basically sell uh, one example there are many strategies uh, if tcs moves in a, a range i can sell a put and sell a call and collect those premiums and uh, manage the risk they are additional revenue maybe i should consider though i do it i will not include them in my tracking similarly there can be bonuses uh sorry not bonus uh, dividends i will not include in the tracking because there will be some transaction costs etc so uh, and taxation will be there so but we should look for a exploiting every opportunity with the journey we take so proactive waiting list of investments to make alerts as to how a particular script be becomes uh, eligible for consideration certain critical incidents how the opportunity changes for example last week uh, 50 basis point uh, interest rate reduction we should anticipate and the day it happens we should have had all the homework and we should charge ahead that kind of proactiveness is required and we should also do risk management you know we should always expect things going wrong so what is the benefit of this rigor so first of all, I am already reaping the benefits of discipline. All along, I have been a trader. Now I am getting into an investor. So that is a different discipline. So in the last one week, I have read at least 100 uh, uh, corporate overviews on screener, of course, which is more than enough. And in some of them, I have clicked their investor presentations. So my strategic outlook has enhanced significantly already. Rigor of principle you have to hold on to practices and uh, reviewing ahead as well as looking back portfolio management and optimization this also i hope to improve now we are already in a peer group we are working uh, you know together we are sharing information alerts insights you know uh, experiences wisdom so in this regard i need help from you with respect to framework improvement opportunity citing and reporting peer reviews and feedbacks you know improving best practices techniques leveraging fundamental and technical 
analysis further in this regard. And once uh, this becomes a proven consistent success, then my portfolio becomes one of the group portfolios and people can simply follow me and there is no charges or anything. Imagine uh, that uh, following my portfolio gives 80% return. Still, it is better than 40% return for a mutual fund uh, investment for which some rigor is required. Actually, I'm hoping much higher than 80%. Let's see. So, I am actually hoping to become recognized as a guru portfolio in next six months. Let's see. Further opportunities for synergy among ourselves. What other techniques to leverage for higher portfolio returns other than this swing trading and positional trading? Please give me inputs. What your expertise and experience I can further leverage? What opportunity hunting through mutual fund holdings changes? I was discussing with the Nagendra, who is uh, very handy with a lot of uh, uh, quantitative analysis, qualitative analysis, whether he could help me in capturing this through first-hand data, how to sense breakouts before it happens, how to sense end of breakouts, how not to miss qualified breakouts as they happen in the market. The you know, For example, BSC gave 27% return last week. Uh, we shouldn't miss it, right? Of course, many other scripts gave similar returns. So how I should avoid missing such opportunities? Swing and uh, positional leverages, risk management, hedging, you know, always we have to manage our risk. Next comes also make suggestions and uh, mention specific help you can offer as part of Q&A. So it is not questions. I am opening the forum to you. And anyway, it gets recorded and this video will be there in public. Keep that in mind. So recognize yourself. If you want some leverage of uh, uh, you know, recognition, you can mention your name, what you do also if you want. Because this uh, video is posted uh, in both in YouTube and Instagram. And uh, I think this video will become successful later once uh, we reach a guru portfolio level success. See, when I started... Uh, mutual fund level quantitative analysis, I was a total idiot. But I have come long way in six months. So I can simply bet that that kind of rigor and uh, improvement will be there on this journey also. So this right now you cannot access because it is in a PowerPoint mode. I can post this in uh, our chat section as Q&A happens. We already have a WhatsApp peer group, which is very dynamic. There are better experts than me. There are people who are far more invested and have reached a uh, uh, you know, high level of network there with us. And they are very kind and you know very uh, helpful, sharing all their success and failures and information and insights. So this peer group is becoming a hidden secret already. And we are going to get more value here. So this is a secular group, so anybody can join. Already 150 people are there. Then high performance portfolio update, I have already created a Google Drive. Every weekend I am going to update. So people can track my dynamic portfolio, whether it's success or a failure, it is transparent. There is no ego issue here. Uh, idea is to work as a team and do better than working Hello. So with that, uh, I am ending this uh, conversation and thank you for uh, your uh, listening. Now we are getting into interactive stage. I said, uh, so it is 45 minutes. I have closed it. So we have one hour, 45 minutes for discussion. So I am opening the forum. Please, uh, you know, give feedback, how you can help, what we can do, etc, etc. And you can even give the tips, like Karnataka Bank is something I might consider tomorrow itself. What other uh, uh, scripts you think I should consider? And you can give your logic also, you know, which can be different from my logic. And but I know how to convert that into my framework. So over to you guys. Now I am removing this portfolio, sorry, this uh, presentation. And uh, I'll change the you to gallery. So you can come 
online with your uh, video as well as audio. So who is going to speak first, please? Anybody? You have to unmute to speak. Hello. Ah, hi. Uh, hi. 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 Vivek Hegde. Hi. 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 Uh, as far as this uh, uh, hosting uh, this internal discussion into any portal or uh, YouTube, uh, will that will that amounts to violation of any SEBI guideline? We may require to check on that as well. In what way we may violate? Uh, research and analysis. Uh, uh, there is a qualification pre-requirement for the purpose of uh, posting on any stocks or specific information on any public uh, channel, which may attract. Additional, uh, what is it, penalties or uh, something, uh, what, what they call it as uh, See, typically, posting uh, it. Th this huh. is managed by saying a disclaimer that this is neither a solicitation nor a stock recommendation. It is just sharing what yeah, nonsense yeah, yeah. I am doing. Hmm. Go ahead, sir. Hello. See, so far, many experts are managing like that, like that Srivastava, who is an IAM and IIT guy, in every thing, the, he recommends a stock, but he says it's not a recommendation. Many other people are doing <laughs> the same thing. Yeah, I, I know, I know. Even Akshat Srivastava, as well as uh, our PR Sundar, uh, all yeah. these people so, are, does the same. That is good enough. And in India, if anybody wants to put you in jail, you are already... Uh, in trouble mm -hmm. because you have without knowing you have violated hundreds of them so this becomes <laughs> a problem when you become famous until then you are a cockroach uh, in terms of uh, uh, shark tank language you, you are a uh, cockroach who can be ignored uh, i'm definitely a cockroach here you know dilia who is speaking okay okay there was a question that came uh, in the chat, uh, Dr. Madhusudan Upadhyay asked, how come you excluded defense stocks? See, the defense stocks were a darling um, almost uh, until last uh, six weeks, I would say, because I have been in touch with them through mutual fund analysis. Just to give you an example, uh, HDFC uh, defense fund was amazing. It went up to 147% annual return. And I have, I was invested and committed to even, uh, uh, what do you call, systemic investment plan. Moment it came down to 137%, I sensed a sense of correction and I uh, liquidated. Then after that, it came to 130, 121, 117, 108, 100, 93, now 85. So people who stuck on to defense funds or stocks kind of saw the erosion of profits or even losses if they had invested late. So defense stocks went through a distribution, I would say, correction, significant correction and distribution. Mm -hmm. We are yet to have a confirmation that it is ending, though you could say that it is ending because in festival season, probably they will perk up. I have limited stock and once I get a confirmation, I will also jump on to it. I have invested in HAL. And I have 20% loss right now, but I have not sold it. Got it now? But I am not considering HAL part of this high performance portfolio. I hope this will answer the question. Typically, what happens is when there is a distribution, it will be followed by some kind of a consolidation before a breakout happens. So I have a feeling at least there are 15 to 30 days time period. This is my one, only my bet. Nobody can predict the future. I hope this answers the question. Then there was a comment, Karnataka Bank management is falling, failing in bringing back the governance. It will take some more time. I will note that comment. My faith in Karnataka Bank is still very good. 
and one of our experts is significantly invested in Karnataka banks right now. And uh, I, my own calculation showed Karnataka bank is worthy because I did listen to listen to them in CNBC just some three four weeks back. They are talking a different language now. They are now see Karnataka bank was an acquisition candidate for long, and there was so much rumor for years. Now the uh, table is turned. Now they are looking for acquisitions. That is a sign of maturity and growth. So I'm more interested in Karnataka Bank. Hello, now interrupt the ring. Yes, sir. Ganapati Gora Gora, sir. Yes, sir. Can you listen to me? Yes, sir. Very much. Okay. Well, I'm uh, you're from NATK, I believe. Yes, uh, sir. 85 Mr. batch. Uh, I'm 72 batch. Uh, if you give me one minute, I'll my, tell my story. Yeah, summarize for the benefit of the audience your investment story. Yeah, yeah I passed out. Uh, I am MTech from IIT Bombay. Then uh, I joined MCF. Then went to Gulf. Okay, Gulf I served for six years. I came back. Then I had no job because I'm a chemical engineer. Uh, shooting to my uh, qualification, I'm a design engineer, uh, operation man and all that. Then I entered a Bombay Stock Exchange through our uh, Udupi gentleman, uh, IRS fellow. Then I uh, we did the three months of, uh, uh, that is, you know, that time no uh, online trading was not there. Uh, then I ended up in uh, some profit. Then I again uh, came back to Bangalore from Bombay. Then I became a uh, Bangalore Stock Exchange subbroker. Okay. My days were very good up to 91. And Harsha Mehta time, I lost of money. Lots of money. Then I came back to design engineer. I'm actually shifted to environment engineering. I have CETPs. I my job, I generate about uh, three crores to four crores month per month per year. My holding is around 18 crores. Okay. My money is only because of my default. Default in the uh, things uh, because as a subbroker, as I told you, I was buying shares for others. Okay. I bought uh, 600 shares of Mahindra Lab. Uh, that is actually Madras uh, Exchange. Then it became Sun Pharma. To my surprise, I was holding 12,000 shares of Sun Pharma. Okay. That is where uh, I got three trunks of full, uh, you know, IPO shares, which are uh, invalid now. But my main luck in the whole, uh, my history of uh, 78 to till date, I hold about uh, 50,000 shares of uh, Tilakanagar Industries, where that is bought around 12 rupees. <clears throat> okay. Sun Pharma. Then I have a lot of uh, Usha Rectifier, then Usha Martin. Basically, in my I hold about 1,500 shares. Basically, I made money only on four or five shares. I can say it is only because of default, not my research. What I meant to say, it is my good luck that made me. Now I'm daily trading uh, to the extent of one crore. I do online trading with four brokers, uh, you know, four brokerages. My experience through tell you in nutshell, one need not be worrying uh, that I lost money, I lost money here and there. Patience or ignorance gives you some benefit. Now, soon I will meet you. I am in Bangalore only. Uh, actually, our... Uh, I, will, uh, I will dedicate half a day with you. I will come and meet you. We are going to discuss a lot of uh, things. I will uh, look forward to your active participation in our peer group. Sure, Please. sure, sure. And, you know, your, uh, so the message I'm getting is you have so much holding, you are still uh, trying to get grip with respect to making them current. I'm 74 years, 74. Doesn't matter. That is just a number. So okay. uh, you will be a valuable asset to our group. And you can okay. catch up with some of our, the rigor we have. No, only I can the catch up with message is very clear. If you, Indian market has been so accommodating, even as an idiot, you can succeed. That is a message here. And okay. Your kind of story, there are half a, you know, dime a dozen there. For example, in Bangalore, someone, uh, uh, you know, a priest was forced to buy Infosys uh, IPO. He didn't know what he was getting into. He forgot about it. And 2010, someone said that paper he has, the stock certificate, is worth 10 crores now. Probably it has become 20 crores. 
and uh, his comment was i am not interested my kids will worry about it got it no this kind of stories are there so what it tells is that long term focus compounding is what we should look for in indian market so it is relevant to today's discussion so positional trade should uh, is to leverage that kind of a factor so for all the viewers if you can sense that a stock can do well by holding longer please speak up in the forum see my own experience i will tell you last july i entered with 2 lakhs i didn't have money and uh, i remember i played with uh, b bhel one day with the future and i made 6000 rupees in a matter of one hour i was so thrilled got it no so 6000 rupees so i still remember i had uh, bought it at 90 rupees level okay uh, so after within a year it has gone gone to 305 so now i am looking like a jackass because 90 rupees to 305 is more than three times more than three times is uh, 400 percent return uh, uh, sorry uh, 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 300 return right this is a simple bhel which had a revenue growth but not making profits so the valuation gain that is the second parameter in my multiplier took off big time for bhel not just because of the company it was the market conditions liquidity all that so this kind of opportunities may be lesser than last year but we still have at least some five dozen such opportunities there can we figure them out working collectively and exploit some of them that is the message thank you sir anybody thank else you. speaking sir please send me a message personally i will catch up with you and i will catch up with you after october 5th i am busy until then thank you anybody else sir does you know this kind of discussion bring your insight in relevance to the topic today how you can help thank you uh, cs vivek hegde for you speaking ullas sir uh, nagendra and satish karant may be there who else is there the experts so what is your view on bajaj housing finance i have ha huh, bajaj housing finance i know i got minimum allot allotment so i i sold on day one because i knew that uh, market is going to go bit frenzy there will be a bit of risk that will happen so i got a very good return for a minimum allotment i got and then uh, next day i might have done some day trading the the beauty of bajaj housing finance is today their uh, uh, aum that asset under management is more than everybody else put together in that field it is such a big behemoth but valuation is definitely too high and uh, we are now moving into risk managed uh, profile so for for from my perspective it doesn't make it to, into my high performance portfolio but through the festival season there may be still 10 to 20% opportunity and daily basis there can be 5% swing but it is a trader mentality so i cannot say that bajaj housing is not a invest but definitely it is not a invest for me in the high performance portfolio i hope that answers so people are missing sadashiv but because i think he is engaged so we will you know bring him in the next session he is such a darling and uh, uh, you know he is uh, very useful in this kind of forums forums so we will get him in the future uh, we will definitely make the next uh, session with uh, interesting i will pre commit him to the session he had indicated he may miss this because he is busy so anything else i am reading the uh, chat also uh please contact me if you have any follow up with me after this session if nobody else to speak we are ending this session because this is going to go online so let me use this opportunity to put my disclaimer 
none of the discussions in this session are either to solicit your investments in any form or it is never a recommendation for investment consider us as a bunch of idiots wasting time so you cannot find fault with us trying to tell you recommendations as an expert so that is the disclaimer that is there thank you anybody else wants to add to this today's discussion? yeah all the all the informations and discussions are only personal views nothing discussed here is soliciting any wants to invest on any stocks or uh, making any uh, gain out of it yes yes we can continue with our discussion anybody else wants to add or shall we end so with regard to this uh, hedging thing yes uh, as you rightly said we may require to find out a certain uh, stocks which are also trading uh, in the futures and option segment also not just in the uh, cash segment where right. you will you will be able to leverage the best i mean options available where right. uh, you will hedge your portfolio and maximize the gain in a short term right and uh, i am not into it because i don't have margin yet but people who have been doing this game like mr sadashiv but who is not here mm -hmm. the feedback is you can uh, enhance up to 50% additional gain with that uh, particular script because basically what you do is you understand the range at which a stock moves you bet outside that range and pocket the premium and sometimes you get hit uh, you know you when you get hit you should have enough margin to buy that stock for example you sell a put now you are obligated to buy the stock or a future uh, you buy the stock there are two ways you can do it you can go through the in a standard process or you simply write up the loss and buy it separately to make gains because you have been proven wrong so you will now take the bullish journey so there are different ways to do it and uh, he consistently does he keeps huge margin to do that and he has success of 50% return but his benchmark he says i am happy with 20% in other words he is uh, modest Uh, though he makes 50%, he'll say my goal is 20%. Whereas I am a rookie, I am saying reverse here. I might not hit more than 80%, but I am saying I want to hit 200%. It just shows my hunger and uh, potentially my idiocy also. <laughs> no, no, nothing else. Because these covered call options and uh, uh, you buy it in a future and you will sell it in a uh, C in a higher range. where uh, if market goes upward fine otherwise uh, your loss will be limited you will hedge the thing similar right. way multiple options are there to uh, protect the bet right so typically i will say that uh, people who have their portfolio equity portfolio size more than 1 crore are comfortable to get into this game i am not at there so i hope to cross that 1 crore by end of next one year then i will be there in that game for the next year mm -hmm. No, no, you will definitely, sir. Yeah, but I am not going to play that now in short term. You need to have margin uh, ability. You know, when your bets go wrong, no, you should be able to buy the entire lot because you are getting it at a low price. You know, correct. So that could be minimum of ten uh, lakhs investment, and Sebi is talking about increasing the loss size to twenty five lakhs. So in general, I will say. if your portfolio size is less than 1 crore don't even think about it there are Correct. better games you can play yeah any uh, anything else to discuss or are we done so thank you so much this was a uh, very good opportunity for me personally uh, to come out uh, kind of transparent naked and put myself out there with the faith and promise that this will become a great opportunity for further growth and uh, wealth build up so this is uh, so your participation and support is uh, very useful look forward to your active participation in our peer group 
with this i am ending this session see you again uh, after october 5th i can come up with the more such sessions not only by my me by other people also i can force them to uh, give a session like this and i might come up with lot of relevant practical sessions based on what we do in the group so see you again maybe earliest i will see you probably will be in next three weeks in a, a session like that uh, otherwise uh, there will be more sharing there is a, you know all our nature in this group is to keep things transparent share our success and failure together and that has helped us to do well and learn better uh, and aim higher uh, individually as well as uh, overall the group uh, quality wise so thank you all see you again with this i am ending the session bye